not good, is it? Yeah, it's an absolute tragedy. Here we are, we're eight weeks into the year, and we've had nine deaths on the far northern roads. Uh, sadly, the... Uh, Tragically, the far north now accounts for in excess of a third of the road fatalities in uh, the entire state, and that is not a record that uh, anyone up here uh, should be proud of in any way, shape or form. We're here today uh, united to talk and get our message out to the community that road safety is everyone's responsibility on the road. We've got police out there every single day enforcing the road rules and looking at four people who are doing the wrong thing. But we can't be everywhere at all times. And this is where we really need the community to take ownership of their driving and take ownership of their safety and the safety of their family and friends when they're out and about on our far north roads. The, we've done a full analysis of uh, our fatal crashes this year and also our uh, injury accidents. And uh, sadly, there is no one causal factor that we can uh, continue to address. The last four fatals that we've had in the far north have been on our major highways and police will be focusing a concerted effort on those highways over the coming days, weeks and months. How does this compare to last year at this time? At, at this time last year we are well ahead of where we were last year. Like I said we've had nine fatals in eight weeks this year. The, uh, the number of fatals we've had up here is by far the worst for this time of year for many, many years. Uh, you have to go back a long way, back to the uh, dark days of um, road fatalities to see anything as bad as we've seen in the last two months. Are there any particular black spots? We've looked at a lot of areas and a lot of um, uh, parts of the far north and sadly at this time it looks like that uh, a lot of the fatals are happening on our uh, highways. Uh, it's down to a number of causal factors, down to inattention and just doing stupid things on the road and not following the road rules. Can you tell us much about this latest one this morning? Well, the uh, fatal accident this morning uh, is still currently under investigation by our forensic crash unit. Um, the findings of that will be made in due course, but it's, uh, this one this morning follows on from another tragic loss of life uh, yesterday afternoon up near Melanda. Can you tell us a bit about the Melanda accident? The uh, Melanda accident was a single vehicle accident up there. Like the uh, accident today, the, uh, that matter is under investigation uh, at the present time, and it's far too early to... Uh, to uh, speculate on specific causes, but it's it's about us being here today to really reinforce with the far north community that we need them to take ownership on the roads. How do incidents like these impact on the community? Yes, and what what everyone has to realise is we've got nine families this year in the far north who are suffering untold pain and suffering due to the loss of their loved ones. But that goes broader. That's their family, their friends, their colleagues and the communities they come from all have to put up with the pain uh, of the, uh, the loss of these people in our communities. That's, a, that's an extremely good point. But sadly, at each one of these uh, fatal accidents, uh, police, Queensland Fire and Emergency Services and ambulance officers have to attend and are confronted with uh, the scenes that they uh, that, that are put before them. To say that those people, those men and women, can walk away after that and put it behind them is naive. Uh, we're all humans, we all have our emotions. And to, for our people to go to these accidents day in and day out in the far north, um, it is just something we need to stop. Are you guys considering any yeah, absolutely. Uh, from the policing perspective here, we're developing uh, our Far North District uh, policing road strategy. Uh, that'll be in the finalised uh, by the end of next week. And under that, we will be focusing on numerous areas and uh, activating numerous action plans to, uh, in an attempt to uh, uh, stem the, the road toll and the injury crashes in the Far North. Well, what people can expect is that there will be a heightened uh, police presence on the roads and in the black spots where uh, we identify them. But we'll also be looking at educating and trying to work with the community to get members and members of the community and road users to take ownership for their actions and to take ownership for their own safety.
the table lands has run that, that campaign with the signage up, up there with the will be next. And would you consider something like this that down here? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the Tablelands uh, has got the Will You Be Next uh, road safety campaign. That is definitely one area that we're looking at expanding across the far north. And it's about uh, asking road users that question. Will you be next? Will you be the next fatality? Will you be the next uh, injury on our roads? Uh, do you mind if we have a talk to you as well? Yeah. All good? Yeah.